Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Torch Pole, a spear with optimal scaling in both strength and dexterity. I did test to see if it was more strength or dexterity leaning by investing more in strength and two-handing the weapon and going one-handed with higher dexterity. Honestly, the scaling was pretty even across the board, so we are rocking a 40 strength, 40 dexterity build, as the damage does not change much if you do invest more in strength or dexterity. And then we have our usual 60 Vigor, and we have the minimum endurance needed to wield both the Torch Poles, Armor, and Talismans that I plan to showcase for today. As for the choice of Talisman, my first Talisman is my Swap Around Talisman. I start off with the Defense Talisman, then I might throw on the Shard of Alexander or the Claw Talisman. It really depends on what I'm fighting. And then we have the Spear Talisman to enhance the counterattack damage on our Thrusting Weapon. We have the Crimson Armor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Erdtree's Favorite plus 2 for the HP Stamina and Equiplo boost. Now, taking a look at the moveset of the Torch Pole, it is a spear, so it really does have just a standard spear moveset. The two-handed light attacks are the forward thrusts. You also get the forward thrusting heavy attacks. Most of the two-handed attacks are thrusts. The running light, though, is a slash, the running heavy being the thrust. It has nothing really unique going for it compared to all other spears that just have the same moveset. While dual wielding as well, the moveset is pretty straightforward. The dual neutrals are the double thrusts, the running light, the double thrusts, the crouching and the rolling thrust upwards. All the attacks are really thrust when dual wielding, actually. It doesn't have any other form of attack. While dual wielding, you also have access to the one-handed moveset, so if you are tired of using the double thrusts, you have access to all the single thrusts as well. Yes, the one-handed moveset, I think, only has thrust attacks as well. I think only the two-handed moveset gets the running light, which is not a thrust, and the crouch attack as well. The Torch Pole is also a somber smithing stone weapon, so you don't have access to interchangeable Ashes of War. You just get its natural Ash of War charge forth, which when activated runs a short distance for a thrust, or you can hold the activation of it to run a longer distance. I don't really use this Ash of War too often, so we'll see how it performs. The damage output on the weapon isn't that bad as well, 500, although the fire damage is definitely low for being a Torch Pole. I kind of assumed like a lot of it would be fire damage, but no, it's mostly physical damage. That's all I really have to say about the weapon though, let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, jumping into our first battle, we have Anima. Hello there, Anima. With the Ruin Greatsword. <laughs> get our buff going. He's got the attack power buff. I'll get the defense buff going then. Alright, Anima. Let's see what we got. I want to see what this does. 251. That's honestly not too bad. Uh, The fire damage, you think, would be a bit higher. <laughs> I thought I was just going to get hyper armor traded, but... Try the crouch attack. <laughs> Close. What about the reverse back step? Okay. The timing on that's a little different. <laughs> I gotta watch out for the Ash of War. Also, what about my? I'm going this way. <laughs> We're not trading that. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Whoa. Oh! A smack to the face. Backstab? Backstab with the torch pull. Alright. Didn't do the kind of damage I was hoping. Oh, we got the wake up timing, right? Pretty good. But can I backstab that? I can get punished for trying to backstab that. I definitely can do that. What about this? Charge forth. <laughs> okay. Uh, trade that. Maybe go for the... Ooh. We backstab that. All right. So it's going to be a slow drain with this weapon. <laughs> From what I'm seeing. Oh, the running jump. I mean, the jumping heavy did pretty good damage. Let's finish him off. Very good duel, Anima. <laughs> Moving on to our next opponent, we have Honest Samurai, I'm assuming. Hey. Hello there, Honest Samurai. I'll give you a bow as well. You nice bow. I love the outfit. Looks very cool. <laughs> I have my Honest Torch Pole. <laughs> All right, is it a Moon Veil though? We don't know. It's hard to tell right away. Oh no, it's raining. It's nerfing. It's nerfing my pole even more. <laughs> But a, a parry attempt. You can go for a lot of those, I suppose. <laughs> so is it a is it a normal katana? Yeah, it's the Uchi. Okay, that's nice. Um, oh, I never organized my rings. What do we want here? I I suppose the Ash of War won't do well. I don't think we're gonna be landing the Ash of War very often. Ah, uh, I knew he was gonna go for the backstab, so I tried. What about double torch pulls? Five hundred damage. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, my attack didn't come out, actually. I wanted to use that as a roll catch, but when I crouched, I think I did it too early. Oh, that is the light roll. I don't know how I didn't notice that until right now. Maybe double would be a little bit better. Backstep. <laughs> it sucks that you, like, it's very difficult to parry punish. 272. <laughs> 
Oh, we almost got a roll catch there on the light roll. This is an interesting fight so far. What about my jumping? Pop the bubble tier. <laughs> Rain, go away. <laughs> Tried to delay it. Okay, we did get a hit there. Okay, good dodge on a samurai. Good dodge. Whee! <laughs> okay, what about... I'm trying to think of one attack that might be very useful. Oh, I jumped the attack. <laughs> I love the outfit. That hat is so cool. Well, helm, I guess I should say. That helm is so cool. <laughs> the parry attempts are there. It's making me play a little bit different, so definitely good. Very fun fight, Honest Samurai. I had my Honest Torch pull. Up next, we have Maximus. Hello, Maximus. How are you, man? I like the outfit. Looking like a real soldier. Uh, we got our buff going. Do you want to use physical buff defense? Okay, yeah, we'll use the crab. What is the flask you're using? Kind of looks like the poison one. Oh, no. Fake wizardry. <laughs> the, the trade of running attacks. My R1 versus your R1. All right, two R1s did 571. That's not, that's not bad. Walk into the torch pull. Oh no, not the sleep crossbow. <laughs> We're gonna try to space that correctly. I think if I get hit by three arrows, I would get slept right now. And then he wants to do the Ash of War. Okay, yeah. We're definitely gonna be sleep ballasting eventually. Although he's spacing pretty well. I can tell he will punish a sleep ballas right now. So I'll just space properly. Let's stay close. There we go. Very fun fight, Maximus. The, the sleep crossbow. So scary. If you get slept, he can pull the fully charged version of Ash War off. Probably. If close enough to me, I would say. That could be a good combo. Moving on to our next battle, we have Rutabaga. Hello there, Rutabaga. Hey. How are you? No wave. <laughs> Just spacing you right off the bat. Yeah, there we go. But you'll get your buff in there. I see. I see, Rutabaga. You got the monks. Flame blade and the poise to tank my running lights. All right, noted. Oh, and you have Raptor of the Mist. <laughs> that was a bad trade for me, that's for sure. Reverse backstep roll catch. No, the timing was weird there. Oh, <laughs> now charge forward. <laughs> nice. I landed it. Roll catch with the R2. I missed. Um, backstab! Oh, not even an attempt was made there. <laughs> Behind! Oh no. I really want the backstab. I don't think I'm gonna get it though. <laughs> Very interesting fight, Rutabaga. There's a lot going on there. Heading into our next battle, we have Death Knight. Hello there, Death Knight. Hey. How are you? Oh, nice. The God Slayer Greatsword. Get our buff going. Get your flask going. There we go. Yeah, even more damage. All right, I'm ready. I want to pop your bubble, though. There we go. That bubble scares me. Trades with the Colossal are not my favorite. All right, next time we maybe charge forth, depending. What is in the offhand there? Some type of flame. Charge forth. <laughs> well, that actually consumes a lot of stamina. Oh, nice. <laughs> the belly, the belly attack. Oh, the flame. Oh, it's all the black flames. Nice. Oh, that, you know what? I was going to jump into that. Let's talk about that for a second. That would have been terrible. Because that does so much damage. Ah. Backstab. No backstab. Oh, I feel like he should have got that trade. I like was able to dodge really quickly out of that attack. <laughs> we have the best aim, me and you, Death Knight. No one can touch our aim skills. Oh, we got to finish with the Ash of War. All right. Wasn't expecting too much from just the charge forth, but that did some pretty good damage. Heading into our final battle, we have Black Flame Hatsu. 
Hello there, Hatsu. How goes it? Got a twin blade. Alright, we got the black flame buffs. I like it, I like it. The body buff. I'm expecting some casting. Oh, the black flame on the weapon. That's pretty cool. Oh, endure. You know what? That was kind of like the perfect time to use that as well. It was almost a really good trade. Got the good running attacks on the one handed twin blade. Oh, yeah, you know what's really sad about that? I guess it's like a lore thing he's going for here, or a cosplay. <laughs> the buff just doesn't last long at all. I remember using it in one of my invasions. Uh, oh, interesting. The... Why am I forgetting? The Stitcher. <laughs> like, how could I forget the name of the Stitcher? That's like one of the cooler looking heavy uh, thrusting swords in the game, I would say. Oh, the poise to tank the running at one. Or I think only one hit. That might be why. That seems to be the case. Oh, I was out of stamina. I was like, where's my L1? Oh, very fun fight, Hatsu. We were both a flame build. Mine are just torches. <laughs> Alright, now let's just see how these perform in the invasions. Heading into our first invasion, we are in the Night Sacred Ground. And we've invaded Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Brandon was very welcoming with his wizardry. <laughs> Brandon is attacking the ball. <laughs> now me. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's a ladder over there, but I can't exactly go up it because they'll just wizardry at me. Play dodgeball here. Maybe I can go up it now. Oh, now they go down. Wait, wait, I maybe should have went up top. This is kind of like a, a boss fight. <laughs> There's this guy, and then the wizard. Hello. Oh, he's rolling down, okay. Hello there. Watch out for the ball. Ball will do some serious damage. Block him out, ball, block him out. <laughs> yeah! Oh no! Wait. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Is the ball desynced or something? I think it was. <laughs> That's really funny. Whee. Dodge. Not even. Oh, we're over here. Oh, I know where we are. Oh, Bloodhound step. But a little nerfed. <laughs> Dodge the wizardry. Take my torch pole. I dodge all wizardry. All right, there we go. Charge forth. Oh, it didn't work out how I thought it would. Un unsatisfied. Gah! Has the to or the poise to tank one torch, but not both torches. Okay, a little bit of latency. I can tell by the way that our hits are taking effect quite late, which is fine. A parry attempt was made. <laughs> Backstab! Oh, good, that was a perfect. I feel cheated out of that one. Oh, you hit me out of the charge fourth. How dare you? <laughs> I'll take out the Phantom first just to make this a longer invasion. Oh, this has a straight sword, so it's not the most damaging weapon. I see the attempt being made here. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get a backstab on the connection. I want to try though, but I hit you both at the same time. <laughs> Jumping heavy. <laughs> nice. Dodge. Dodge. Hey, you blocked him from coming in closer. That's unfortunate. Oh, I actually caught Bloodhound step. That feels so nice now that it doesn't go so far. It's fair. Pop the bubbles. All right, Brandon, bring out the the poke. But oh, you're heavy rolling with that. You should really fix that up. <laughs> there you go. Now you're not heavy rolling. That's better. Oh, that was good. He wants to parry me really badly. I want to try to jump. Aw. Oh, couldn't jump him? Unfortunate. Nice. That's a good Estus punish. 
In fact, I may even put on... Ah! Oh, that was meant to be the backstab, but it's okay. No, it's not okay. I didn't get the backstab. Ah, uh, we did get the jumping L1, though. Very fun fight, guys. Interesting invasion zone, too. I don't ever fight here. Hidden path to the Halig tree is our second invasion, and I just saw the flame remnants of our favorite weapon. Dodge. Oh no! Oh god, can this thing hit me? I need, I need to... Oh, there's an invader here! Hello, invader! <laughs> Hello! Alright, let's get in there. Well, I suppose we can let them finish this off. Let them waste their FP. Honestly, that's a win for us. I'll be here to chip at you as well. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll win with just these. Hello. Alright, Tess, I'm coming. Oh, I also... Oh, I'm sorry, Invader. Hang on one second. I hear my phone alarm going off. I must dip for two seconds. Stop. Stop. There we go. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Oh. Well. Oh, sorry, Red. I'm just like a hindrance right now. <laughs> I got the Ash of War finish, though. <laughs> Let's go. Good teamwork, man. Good teamwork. Lightning spears and uh, torch poles. Heading into our third invasion, we're in Einzel River, Maine. Oh, and they're fighting Blythe. Leave Blythe alone. Stop it. I'll protect him with my life. No, Blythe! I couldn't save you. I tried my best. <laughs> they were all on you. Alright. Wait. Wait, at least you don't have any health? I guess they were fighting Blythe for a while. I thought the fight might have just started. No FP left. Oh, man. What can I do here? Oh, you have health, you liar. <laughs> you just weren't drinking it. Oh yeah, while I'm standing. <laughs> okay. Oh, shush. Oh. Finished with the beautiful lightning urn. Oh no! <laughs> oh what? Did that, did that rock save at least? Interesting. I mean, you're not gonna win without attacking. Oh boy. Oh, no crap. Oh. <laughs> oh. Urn! Alright, we win with the urn. Well, you did defeat Blythe. Congratulations. I could not protect my ally. Heading into the final invasion, we are in the A Altus Plateau. I always pronounce that wrong. Hello there. Got a whole group here. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. How are we? Uh, I have torch poles. Shall we do great battle? I see you trying to space me. I see you guys. This way. Oh, there's the carriage nearby. Um, where am I? I was just trying to like look around to figure out where I was. Hello. This guy's trying to sneak. Where is the sneak? I see. <laughs> All right. Oh, I thought I could dodge that. Oh, wizard bomb. I'm stuck on trees, really? <laughs> I do not know this area at all. Hang on. Okay, so behind me is the carriage. Face my torch pulls. All right, I'm ready. I think I know where I am now. The wizard bomb. He's got the poise to tank it. Backstab? Oh, that would have been a really cool backstab, honestly. Unfortunate. Oh, that was like a perfect iframe roll catch. I don't think he was trying to time it, but the wizard allowed it with the bomb. Alright, we got one down. Charge forth on you! 
Take that, Alistair. Say, hey, this guy. Yo, we have the same weapon. Lore invasions. <laughs> oh, you took a turn. Smart, Alistair. Smart. Me and my torch pole, buddy. Hey, stop running from the torch pole. Oh, I thought he was going to run a little more right. No, oh, backstab. Sadness. Wow, that did a lot of damage. He's got like one HP. <laughs> nice. Aha! Almost backstabbed. The wizard. And so begins the running. Oh, the shield. Okay, let's see how that fares against double. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was definitely an interesting invasion. Very cool area too. I never really fight here at all either. I love the invasion update. So good. Well, those are all the invasions that I have for you guys for today with the torch pole. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep commenting your weapon recommendations below. I love using weapons that I otherwise would forget, so I do appreciate all the recommendations. Until the next video, though, this is goodbye. I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.